Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Frankie Slauson here with another DVD update. I know it's been a while since I made a video, and uh, I figure, or I made a video on my channel. I figure I make a, a video based on, uh, well, a DVD that I just recently got. I just got one DVD I had to my collection. I haven't really been buying many DVDs lately just because, uh, you know, after uh, thinking about it, you know, I've been. Per, yeah, I mean, uh, set my sights on purchasing other things besides movies, because I got a pretty good collection right now, and I'm pretty happy with what I have. I mean, I, I pretty much know that I'll never own every movie that I possibly want. Only, well, maybe the ones that I really, really want, but not every DVD that I could imagine. Uh, you'll never see me be like like Sean Phillips, aka Cooler. I mean, he he buys DVDs all the time, and so is Wet Movie, uh, Wet Movie One. But me, you know, there's other things that I want besides movies. I love movies. And I love sitting down, relax, and watch a movie or a TV show on DVD. But, you know, there are other things out there that I want. You know, like my new TV coming up pretty soon. Uh, there's new things going on in my life. So, yeah, there's other things that I want to do, purchase besides just movies. Fair enough, right? But the one that I did get, and, and, and I'm also not only, well, I talk about the movie that I got, but I'm also talking about a movie. I'm going to do a movie review as well. So it's going to be two, uh, not a two-parter, but just like half and half kind of thing. All right, the movie that I got. I had this movie once before on DVD, but for some reason, part two of this movie got lost somewhere, so I had to reorder it. Uh, and unfortunately, they released it last year in a totally awesome 80s double feature pack, Eddie of the Cruisers 1 and Eddie of the Cruisers 2, Eddie Lives. And these are two movies... Two fictional movies that any any music fan should should see, and the reason why I say that is because um, Eddie Wilson, that's uh, the character for Michael Pere, uh, this guy and this guy, pretty much the same guys, uh, it talks about him. Uh, well, first of all, there aren't really unless there's a, a modern band or whatnot, uh, independent band. But as far as I know, there is no band ever called Eddie. There's never been no band called Eddie of the Cruisers. You know, it's not like the Buddy Holly story or La Bamba or even Great Balls of Fire uh, where they talk about, or even Ray or any of these musical movies where they talk about something that's actually fictional. Or, I mean, non-fictional. Yeah, that's right. This is fictional. This is a, just a made-up story, uh, but it, it's, a, it's a very good made-up story. For being a fictional story about somebody that something that's not even somebody that's not even real, I tell you what, it really is good. I recommend part two more than I recommend part one. But if you haven't seen part one, see it first. But really, really check out part two. This is the eighties total awesome eighties double feature of Eddie the Cruisers one and Eddie the Cruisers two, and it's very good. Uh, I can't say nothing bad about this movie. The music is done by John Caffrey of the Bureau Ground Band. I know everyone's heard of that, and uh, I'm not going to ruin anything, just go out and see it, alright? Now, the movie review. Recently, I, I went and watched a movie with my friend John Gibson, props to you, uh, and uh, we, we didn't want to watch the DVD version of this, I, I uh, noticed that he had the VHS version of this, and I wanted to see it, when I seen that he had it, I was like, holy shit, I can't believe you got it. And what am I talking about? Multiplicity. Now this movie <laughs> is a very funny movie. It's a feel-good movie, and uh, you know it's one of those movies that you can uh, that you know if you're having a bad day or if you're very depressed or whatever, or things aren't going your way, and you want to watch something that's going to make you feel good, pop in uh, a copy of Multiplicity because it's a very good story. Michael Keaton, you know, I mean, look how many Michael Keatons there are, but there were four. Now, this is one of the first, as far as I know, because this is from 96, and this is directed by Harold Ramis. This is one of the first, as far as I know, clone-like movies. Unless there's other ones out there, you have to tell me. I have no idea. Uh, let me know in the comment box if you know of any other clone movies that came out before Multiplicity. But this stars Michael Keaton as Doug, and, uh... Hit Doug Kinney and his his life is pretty messed up because he he has his work and, and he has his kids and his family and he has to find time for things for for all, everything but he also wants to find time for himself 
and you know he's 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 really getting stressed out because he all he does is work. You know that's it. He hardly has time to for his kids or his wife or even like I said himself. So uh, one day uh, he meets this guy who is Harris Harris Yulin. If you remember the judge from Ghostbusters two, uh, he's a scientist. And they're working on a uh, construction in, in the lab anyway, you know, probably the lab that he's working at. And he talks about, you know, how well, Michael Keaton asks, what do you guys do over there? What do you guys invent or create? And his response is, time, pretty much, freedom. And uh, he doesn't, uh, Michael Keaton doesn't understand what he's talking about, so he, he goes and, and sets a, a meeting with uh, uh Harris Yulin's character, and uh, he talks about what you know what they do, and he talks about how they clone people, and this kind of saves you know in a lot of ways in the beginning here it kind of saves him because then he finally gets some free time, you know because he got you know he's out just relaxing while his clones working, and then you know I'm not gonna ruin everything I don't want to ruin the whole movie for everybody if you haven't seen it and if you haven't seen it come on. You guys see multiplicity. I mean, Michael Keaton's one of his best movies uh, of his later years, anyway, because I, I think, you know, if you talk about a good Michael Keaton movie, you know, it goes from Night Shift, where he made his debut. It goes Night Shift. Uh, I've never seen Johnny Dangerously yet, so it goes Night Shift, for me, anyway, it goes Night Shift, Beetlejuice. Oh, no, Night Shift, Mr. Mom, Beetlejuice, Batman, Batman Returns. And multiplicity, and Jack Frost. Uh, he's done a lot of other movies. Oh yeah, I can't forget the Dream Team too. But he's done a lot of other movies too. But I like his early stuff. And there's other movies that that are out there, that are out there too, that would be good to see, like Clean and Sober, uh, Pacific Heights, and uh, some other a few, Johnny Dangerously, and a few others that he's done. But I really remember him from movies like Multiplicity. I mean, he, he's a great actor, you know, has a good voice. You know, when they're talking about, like, the whole Dark Knight thing, you know, comparing uh, Michael Keaton's Batman to Christian Bale's Batman, a lot of people gave bad reviews about Michael Keaton's Batman because, oh, it's not a current thing now, you know. The Dark Knight is supposed to be more darker. Well, you know, the thing about it is, like I've said in one of my other reviews, that, yeah, I mean, Michael Keaton will always be the better Batman. No matter what. If you disagree with me, that's fine. That's your own opinion. But he'll always be known for, for as a character actor and a lead actor. You know. That's just it, you know. So anyway, that's my rant for this video. So I have made more, more videos for my channel. I've been more focusing on other channel or my other channel, Five Awesome Studs. Uh, check us out if you haven't. YouTube.com slash Five Awesome Studs. And... I might be having a, giving you uh, the five awesome sets of surprise. I'm not going to say what. Uh, if this person who I've talked to agrees to make a video, let's just say we may have our first uh, celebrity guest spot. Let's just say this. Let's just say we may have our first celebrity endorsement. But you'll find out about that on the other channel. So anyway, I'm Frankie Slauson, and we'll see you. For another five awesome set or well, Frankie Slauson show video, and check out youtube.com/slash five awesome sites. Until then, see ya.